Hi, Chris Albanese, Director of Education, Real Estate Academy of Orlando, back with some more math help. The next question we're going to take a look at is calculating the vacancy and collection loss allowance for a property. Uh, ultimately, this is a, a fairly simple formula once we break it down, but let's take a look at the question itself because this is worded in a complicated way. A multifamily unit consists of seven two-bedroom apartments that rent for $950 per month each, and 13 three-bedroom apartments that rent for $1,250 per month. The vacancy and collection loss is estimated to be 8%. Management is 5% of the effective gross income. What is the annual vacancy and collection loss allowance for this property? Now, the vacancy and collection loss, uh, we're going to use this number to ultimately figure out what is our effective gross income. Now, uh, this is just a portion of an, a larger uh, problem here, but what we start with is where we start with our PGI, our potential gross income. This is our pie in the sky number. If every unit is rented 12 months out of the year, 365 days, everybody pays on time and no vacancies, well, how much money would the property bring in in a year? That would be our potential gross income. So we know that the vacancy collection loss is going to be 8% of that. Now, we start with PGI, we back out our vacancy and collection. Uh, in this case, it's going to be 8%. And that's going to leave us with our effective gross income. Now, typically, we're going to calculate the vacancy and collection when we're looking to solve the effective gross income uh, question. Now, the question they've given us here, we're stopping at vacancy and collection rate. So uh, it's relatively simple. Now, when it comes down to that management fee of 5%, well, we don't need that at all for this question. It's not relevant. Uh, if we were going to use that, that would ultimately be below the effective gross income uh, if we're calculating operating expenses. So EGI minus our operating expenses is going to uh, equal our net operating income. But in this uh, problem here, all we're doing is calculating that vacancy and collection rate. So they're just giving us a lot of information to try to confuse you. So let's break it down what we actually need. So first we have to figure out what is our PGI. So our pie in the sky number, uh, how much can we possibly earn on this property uh, in a given year? So we have seven two bedroom apartments. So we've got seven of those. Multiply that by 950 per month. And that's going to give us uh, $79,800 for the year. Then we have 13 three-bedroom apartments, and they rent for $1,250 per month. So let's take our 13 three-bedroom apartments at $1,250 per month, and that gives us $195,000. And now we're just going to add these two numbers together. This gives us $274,800. Dollars, And this is our PGI, our potential gross income. So now we've got that, we know next that our vacancy and collection loss is going to be 8% of that PGI. So take our 274,800, we're going to multiply that by 0 0.08 or 8%, and that's going to give us an answer of 21980 dollars and that is going to be our answer i hope that helps if you have any other questions please write to us at info at reaorlando.com uh, or visit us online at realestateacademyoforlando.com if you have ideas for other math problems that you'd like to see us to do videos for please send it in and we'll create one for you thanks again